Welcome back. Today in this lesson we're going to be discussing tools for use. Now as a web developer you've got different options and you'll be presented with several tools. Uh, there are several out there online both for pay and for free. We're going to present to you the tools that we recommend you use for these lessons and of course throughout your career. And what we will go over are uh, basically uh, We're going to go over HTML editors. We're going to go over image manipulation and file transfer protocol. The HTML editors are basically software that allows you to write code, and that's all it really does. It's just it just writes code. And with image manipulation, uh, it allows you to more or less uh, shrink images, create images, create GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs. We're going to go over some software over there, of course, in this lesson, we will, uh, in these lessons, HTML 5.0 lessons, we're not going to really go over or teach you how to use these, uh, these image softwares, but uh, we will definitely present them to you because they're very important in the whole concept of web development. What is important, of course, is FTP, the File Transfer Protocol software. We'll introduce a couple of them today. Uh, you can always uh, use any one you want, but again, it's all about transferring files from your computer to the server. All right, so let's go ahead and go on into HTML editors. Now, obviously, we've got a situation with the Mac and we've got a situation with the PC. And ever since I started my web career, there's always been a conflict between the Mac and the PC. Well, as web professionals, the one thing we must keep in mind that a website is a website it must look good regardless whether it's in a Mac or a PC. So it's our job to make sure of that. Uh, the different tools, however, differ for the different uh, platforms. So the first one is the obvious notepad. And that comes in most PC systems. You can usually find it in the accessories folder. Okay. Notepad is pretty much the simplest basic tool out there. It allows you to control your code. It can go from one line to another. I started out using Notepad. It still works. I know several people who do. For me, however, I moved on to what is called Edit Pad. Okay, and if you went on Google and you typed in edit pad light, that's L I T E, you'll be able to get the website of this software and download it. It's free, it's easy to use, and I really like it because it uh, offers a lot of features that are favorable to me when it comes to developing websites. 